Welcome back, you're watching New Brick. Is there now enough evidence to take action against BJP MP from Gonda, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh? Well, in a latest report of the Indian Express, which quotes the chart sheet of the Delhi police, here is what it says. Number one, Bridge Bhushan is liable to be prosecuted and punished. The thousand page chart sheet with over 100 people have been questioned. 15 have testified in favor of the wrestlers, that is against Mr. Brijbhush and Sharan Singh. The report also says that Singh's harassment is repeated and continuing in one case. All of this, of course, uh, attributed to a report by the Indian Express, which is quoting portions of the Delhi police chart sheet. Now, what are really the allegations against Brijbhush and Sharan Singh, uh, where wrestlers are wrestling for justice? One by one on your screen right now. Brijbhushan was booked for alleged assault and sexual harassment. These allegations include inappropriate touching and stalking. Brijbhushan allegedly demanded sexual favors for career assistance. And then an FIR against Singh details instances of alleged molestation. Now, it's very important to know who this man is. He is a six term Lok Sabha MP from Kaisar Ganj in UP's Awadh region, which falls in Gonda. He won the seat once on an SP ticket, that is the Samajwadi Party ticket, and five times on a BJP ticket. Bridge Bhushan runs over 50 educational institutions in Uttar Pradesh. He has a big following among the youth in eastern Uttar Pradesh. Singh is influential on multiple Lok Sabha and Assembly seats in the Awadh region of eastern Uttar Pradesh. Singh has also headed India's wrestling body, which is the Wrestling Federation since 2011. Now, Bridge Bhushan's defiance is something which needs to be also mentioned over here amid all these allegations. What has the BJP MP said about the protests against him? He says, protests are becoming like Shaheen Bagh, the anti-CAA protests of Shaheen Bagh. He then said, allegations are part of a conspiracy by a group of wrestlers. Resignation is no big deal, but won't do it as a criminal. Millions of people are with me. I am being falsely accused by political opponents. Wrestlers are being paid to protest against me. I will hang myself if a case, if a single allegation is proven. And now you have a situation where a newspaper openly reports portions of the Delhi police chart sheet saying that he is liable for prosecution and liable for action. Now, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh has been somewhat a controversy's child. He was arrested under stringent terror law in the 90s, acquitted for lack of evidence. A 2021 viral video shows Singh hitting an under-15 wrestler on stage. In a recent television interview, Bridge Bhushan allegedly described how he committed murder. Singh has faced or faces over 30 criminal cases, including murder, but no conviction has taken place just yet. And now the report suggests that this man is liable to be prosecuted. So will that be the case? We will know soon once the Delhi police clears its position. We have Vikram Singh, former DGP of Uttar Pradesh. Dr. Geeta Bhatt is a political analyst. Uh, Dr. Sunita Godara, Asian Marathon champion and Vivek Goel, advocate of the Supreme Court. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, DGP Vikram Singh, I want to start with you first. Now, uh, with reports coming in of the chart sheet very clearly saying that he is liable for prosecution. Do you think that it is now becoming extremely embarrassing for his political organization to continue on with him? The entire episode, Sanket Ji, is an unmitigated disaster with horrible fault lines all across. Whether he is a liability or an embarrassment or both rolled into one, me saying that he is a liability or embarrassment would be an understatement. I would have been very happy as for the rule book the moment the prosecutrix says that something like this has happened and the statement is taken, that is sufficient reason to charge sheet the case. Anyway, you dive deep into the matter, got 15 witnesses, got electronic evidence as also the CCTV camera footages. Wonderful. But yes, it was after the Supreme Court's intervention that the FIR was registered. It was after multiple, multiple proddings that the investigations went ahead. You did not require, it wasn't rocket science, Sanket ji. This should have happened long, long ago. And whoever now touches such an accused, well, 
he is quoting the recipe of disaster number one. Number two, he seems to have said on oath that if he's charged or proven guilty, he will do X, Y, Z. I would like to remind him of his oath. Well, of course, political morality in any case is a myth. And I do not expect him to own up to what he had said. Mm. But yes, the Delhi police have a task at hand. And the task is to ensure proper prosecution and sure. ensure conviction. Sure. Because again, this man would go to say that I am not convicted. I am only charge sheeted. Then I'm only convicted by the lower court. I'm only convicted by the high court. I'm only convicted yeah, by the no Supreme end Court. There's no end to the story, hmm. therefore. Hmm. Okay, Vivek Goyal, you see, this is a man who's been brazening it out. This is a man who only yesterday misbehaved with a reporter when asked of these questions that have been reported in the Indian Express. Do you think that now it is very difficult, the way the investigation is going on right now, and if this is correct, the charge sheet does say this, that he is liable for prosecution. Then in that case, it is embarrassing for the BJP to continue on with him. See, the, it is not just charge sheet. It is now the cognizance uh, has also taken pl uh, place and the uh, court has summoned uh, Bridge Bhushan on 18th. So... Yes, please carry on, gone, Mr. Goyal. gone through the prima facie evidence and the uh, uh, view of the court is that uh, there is a, enough, enough evidence that uh, he should be summoned. Yes, so do you think, uh, uh, Dr. Sunita Godara, that this is going to be actually uh, a big shot in the arm for the protesting wrestlers, the sports stars who have been, uh, who have been uh, pretty much fighting against an entire system uh, to say the exact same thing, that he should be liable for prosecution. And now we have a Delhi police charge sheet which reportedly says the same. See, uh, whatever police has done, this was obviously, you know, from the beginning, uh, the way he was behaving on national uh, television, you know, um, mm -hmm. doing professional misconduct every day, whenever he comes. Uh, even now, he, he was uh, misbehaving with the journalists. So, and uh, calling uh, Olympic medal, 15 rupees ka medal, and uh, saying that these uh, athletes are all jate uh, huye, to sab retired and all those things, you know. So, he was giving derogatory remarks from day one. So, that is called professional misconduct. I am surprised even now, if this ethics panel which is there on paper but not active with ioa and with the sports military if they take a sports law in their hand which is very normal you know 100 times easier and 10 times faster or say 100 times faster and 10 times easier than the court procedure proceedings mm -hmm. and this person could have been barred 10 years ago, you know, because he was having this uh, behavior from the beginning. Even now, six months back, when the, uh, these stalwarts, the uh, sports stars sat on, on Dharna, the very first day when they made the committee, if the ethics panel could have taken the decision, and the sports law says the only punishment for the any sports person, whether athlete, whether official or federation person, is banned from sports. First, they ban them, give them notice, then the person comes and give the clarification. And if it is proven, then he's barred from sports for life. And now he has been charge sheeted. Even now they can take this action. So moto action by the sports ministry ethics panel. So moto action by the Indian Olympic Association. They have the ethics panel on paper, but they have to just make it active, you know. Implementation of the sports law is very, very important in sports because this is only one case of girls, you know. But there are many girls in sports and many Brajbhushan type people are roaming around in sports arena. Right. What will happen to other girls if the ethics panel is not activated now? This is the chance point that you're for making. the sports ministry, for the IOA to activate the sports panel, right. the sports ethics panel commission, which is a sports law. Correct. And they have it, but they don't work on it. Yes, Dr. That's Godara, while, while you make a significant point, uh, for the purposes of this discussion, I'm, I'm restricting myself to this report uh, of, of the chart sheet and what it says. And in the light of this chart sheet, 
what uh, what happens to uh, Mr. Brijbush and Sharan Singh. Uh, Professor Geeta Bhatt, you see this is a man who r represents this very Bahubali sort of an image, the manner in which he conducts himself, he speaks, I have influence, I have lacks of supporters. Uh, he has openly gone on tape to claim that I have killed one person, right? Very humbly in that interview, there is one media interview where he says, I have killed one person, right? Then here is the same man who slaps sportsmen on tape, he misbehaves with reporters on tape and now this charge sheet. Do you feel that he is proving to be a big embarrassment for the BJP and if the party continues to defend him and by not taking action against him, it will be further embarrassing politically as well as otherwise? Well, uh, Sanket ji, I think it will be an embarrassment for any political party if they have a member of parliament, you know, who has been uh, named in, you know, who has been uh, in a, already framed in a, a charge sheet uh, with the uh, with sexual harassment uh, and stalking uh, and, you know, on misconduct uh, with women. Uh, there is no doubt about that. But, uh, you know, I also would like to bring forth here that the uh, the Delhi police, you know, it's very judicially for it took quite some time for them to uh, file this charge sheet. And uh, earlier there were accusations that the, on the contrary, that, you know, that the police is being uh, influenced by the uh, present political dispensation because uh, the member of parliament belongs to the political party. However, the, the case was rather, uh, since the, you know, the case which was filed, it was almost the incident which was was nearly six years old and the police had to go to you know different locations and more than nearly 108 people have been interrogated in this but so now it took a long Dr. Time but for I can, under, I, I can understand that the investigation was, had to be completed but now in the light of these reports now what happens to now also see, not take action and the, to see this man brazen, of, brazen right, it out day already, after day, day night yes, you know Sanketi, to brazen see, it out day and night the 18th of July already the court has summoned uh, the uh, you know the accused the, the the member of parliament and he has to be you know he has to come to the court and the proceedings are whatever there is in the law you know the problem is that this is law is a slow process but definitely it is something which as per the law whatever is there uh, you know the, the case is going to go on and then uh, whatever the judgment is going to be given that that is will be acceptable to all. And mm. definitely it is uh, 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 what I agree that uh, in the sports arena and in various uh, such type of organizations. Do you feel, do you feel his political party is trying to avoid an, uh, a situation where they appear to be taking an action? Given this big Bahubali image, uh, given the fact that he projects that he is super powerful in the region, so that there are no political ramifications, his political party would rather want a court of law to announce him guilty instead of them see, doing so. See, it is the uh, Sanket ji, but there has to be, you know, a legal course has to be taken for any kind of a, you know, uh, punishment which is to be given to a person who is accused. Uh, yes, as far as there is a, you know, I am saying that it will be very difficult for any political party to, to defend when the charge sheet has been filed uh, with these okay, kind let, of let, accusations. Let's quickly, quickly. Uh, we will put on screen some breaking news coming in, uh, DGP Vikram Singh, where Brijbhushan Sharan Singh, we'll put that on screen. Uh, screen. He has just tweeted, he has just tweeted on this, uh, this chart sheet. Uh, he says, Jhoot ki tarif, sach ka mazak, kuch aisa hai aaj kal, Congress ka mizaj, mere jeevan ka sach. And then there is one whole A4 sheet where he gives out all the latest details. But do you think, uh, Mr. Singh, Bahubali image openly claiming on camera that I have killed one person, on camera slapping a sports person, on camera misbehaving with a reporter and now this chart sheet. He has become, don't you think, an embarrassment? Sankeji arrogance is a weak man's imitation of strength. All this is indicative of a weak personality and this brazen like schoolboys whistling in the dark to scare away the ghosts. All this facade of being hurt and uh, not being taken seriously, have no merit and do not cut any ice. People know what the truth is. And yes, he should have not been touched even with a barge pole. Now the sob stories, these 
crocodile tears do not impress anyone and they don't impress anyone. The law will take a full circle, the judgment will be pronounced, but as you very directly mentioned, once a person figures in the FIR, it is bad enough. If a person figures in the charge sheet, it is worse still. Don't wait for the conviction to happen and don't wait for the presidential condonement. Ensure that a person who has been named in an FIR, charge sheeted in an offense which in includes moral turpitude, take pains to give exemplary punishment within the party and outside the party. My humble submission to you would be my advice to me. As we do in the police, you have to be cruel, to be kind, to give a no-nonsense signal. At a, that at a time like this... At a time like this, this, uh, uh, this latest reply from Brijbushan Sharan Singh, uh, he's basically taking on Priyanka Gandhi of the Congress party, where he says, Mere khilaf Twitter Twitter khelna band karo, aur mere khilaf Lok Sabha ka chunao ladne ki himmat kare. So this is a challenge. He's, he's inviting his political opponents to his political arena. So it'll be interesting to see what the response is going to be. In the meanwhile, how this matter plays out in the courts will also be very interesting to see. Has he become an embarrassment for his political party given this latest chart sheet is something which is up for discussion. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for joining us. Stopping for a short break, be right back.